Hello, welcome to the uh, welcome to the Q and A session for Drama Portfolio Class. Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Like the video, share it with all your friends. And while you're doing that, uh, let's begin with a prayer to uh, the patron saint of theater, the patron saint of actors, uh, Saint Genesius. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear St. Genesius, according to a very ancient story, while you were still a pagan, you once ridiculed Christ while acting on the stage. But like Saul on the road to Damascus, you were overwhelmed by Christ's powerful grace. You rose bearing, bearing witness to Jesus and died a great martyr's death. Intercede for your fellow actors before God that they may faithfully and honestly perform their roles and so help others to understand their role in life, thus enabling them to attain their end in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, well, welcome. My name is Dolores Mahalik, uh, and I am the drama instructor for the Online Academy here at Colby. I'm here basically to answer any questions you might have about the drama course this fall and spring. Uh, so if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat box uh, or the box below, uh, below this Facebook Live video and we'll get to answering them. Uh, meanwhile, I wanted to introduce, uh, tell you a little bit about myself, about why I'm teaching this course and what to expect in this course if you're a student or a prospective parent uh, looking to get your kid involved in drama or arts courses with Colby. So uh, I'm actually a Colby Online School alum. I'm super proud of that. Uh, I, was, I graduated from Colby Academy Online. Um, and my siblings as well have all attended Colby Academy online. So we're really familiar with the program. And when uh, Megan Langle reached out to me, we, we started talking about the possibility of teaching. And it was just, it was a thrilling idea to have someone uh, who was from the online academy start to teach. So I'm familiar with uh, the scary things like Schoology and Adobe Connect. I've got uh, firsthand experience as a student for that. And I just kind of wanted to tell all the students who are beginning their year with Colby don't be afraid. I know it's a lot of new technology, but it's uh, going to help you so much, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun to be part of it. I have graduated drama and a concentration in business. I've worked at the theaters across the U.S. Uh, regional theaters like uh, Chicago Shakespeare Theater and the Good Speed Musical Opera House in Hartford. I've also worked in New York. Uh, and currently I'm working in Rome. I, uh, uh, I'm teaching from Rome right now. So as you may have noticed from outside, it's, it's the afternoon for me, although on the East Coast, I think it's still 10 o'clock in the morning there. So uh, behind me, you can see a little bit of Rome. We've got a, uh, we're in a Roman garden right now, uh, right outside the walls. Uh, we are maybe about five miles outside the walls of Rome. Uh, and you can see Rome on the horizon there in the background if the lighting's just about right. So uh, it's, it's been uh, an incredible experience being able to teach from the Eternal City. Oh, <laughs> it is very pretty, isn't it? Uh, it's been an incredible experience being able to teach from the Eternal City, from the, from the heart of uh, Catholicism today. Uh, and it's been really moving to teach uh, a course like drama. So with that being said, I'm here to answer all of your questions. Uh, so go ahead and let me know what you're interested about. We are studying, for this first semester, we'll be studying eight of probably the greatest plays in history. We have uh, plays from uh, the Greeks. We're going to be studying Oedipus Rex right off the bat. This is an incredible play. It's one of my favorites. Uh, we'll be studying the tension between uh, political leadership and moral beauty and uh, that's, that's a really awesome question. It's really interesting to get Colby uh, students' perspective on, on what that relationship means to them. We'll also be studying plays by our favorite, uh, uh, Pope John Paul II. We'll be studying the jeweler's shop at the end of the semester. It's kind of like our capstone project. Uh, it's an incredible play if you've ever read it. It's a parable play. And it basically is John Paul II's thoughts on marriage and what he thinks theater can mean for, the, uh, for his contemporary audience. We'll also be studying uh, a play by an anonymous source. It's called Everyman. And Everyman was one of the first plays that's been introduced after the Roman Empire. Uh, and it's also a parable play. So it'll be 
kind of a bookend to the semester with Every Man and the and uh, the Jeweler Shop by JP2. Every Man is about the life of a soul and how a soul can attain heaven. And it's written uh, for the Catholic Church. It's written for a Catholic audience. Uh, and it kind of grounds the whole first semester. It's it, We're going to use it as our baseline for how we can ground our play uh, in Catholicism and how we can ground our work as actors in Catholicism, uh, which is absolutely awesome. We've got a question here. Uh, <laughs> uh, we there. The question is, do you have any tips for rookie actors? Uh, so I've done acting uh, at a regional level and at the collegiate level. Uh, and I would just say to rookie actors, uh, to take my class <laughs> and uh, act, right? Acting is a as an active verb in the in the truest sense. You're not really an actor unless you're currently acting, right? It's it's uh, it's something that you have to stand up and do. It's not uh, the the term acting and the career of an actor does not admit for any kind of step back uh, experience or kind of like sit on the chair. You're you're sitting on a chair and you're like, hey, I'm an actor. No, you have to get up. You have to go forth, seek the jobs, seek uh, the acting experience. So for a rookie actor, I would say go out there, get a uh, go out there, act in your uh, your local theaters, act in local plays, or act in your your high school plays, uh, and uh, go go learn about this wonderful art called acting. Uh, and that's also what we'll do. A part of the first semester is going to be building a portfolio of work. So we'll be studying things like. Uh, acting, obviously, we'll be doing monologues from Shakespeare, but we're also going to be doing um, some stage design. We're going to be doing some wonderful work, uh, trying to create settings for some of these more um, more wild plays, plays that are far uh, farther from our uh, far, farther from our day to day experience. I'm going to be asking you guys, the students in my class, to design sets for Twelfth Night, which is a play by Shakespeare. And basically you're going to go do a bunch of research. You're gonna see how the play was uh, first performed, how it is traditionally performed and now, and then how it's performed in places like New York and London today. So you're gonna be doing a lot of research in this class. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna see, uh, you're gonna to get to see how different creative minds approach the text as uh, widely known as Shakespeare. And uh, you should have a lot of fun doing it. I know as a student, this was one of my favorite projects. So you should know though, this course isn't only for actors, it's also for designers. It's also for budding directors, producers. We'll build a portfolio of work together that will give you a really good springboard into college auditions and also into um, auditions for work in, the, uh, in regional theaters and beyond. So that's pretty cool. Are there any non-actors taking this class? Directors, producers out there, let us know. And we've got um, someone here saying they've done plays and skits, and that's awesome. You know, that's that's exactly what we're talking about. Is part of being an actor is just getting up there and acting. Oh, that's awesome. So we've got a recorded musician in this Zoom call as well. Uh, that's incredible, my gosh. Uh, music was involved in play production since the very beginning. Since Thespis, who we'll learn about in our first class, since Thespis first stepped out of the dithyramb, he was uh, singing, he was creating music. So it's, it's gonna be awesome. If there are any musicians in, in this class this year, we're gonna have a lot of fun together super similar. Uh, it's a performance art, right? You're giving joy to other people and you're participating in this in this language of performance. This class is going to be suitable for uh, high schoolers. We, the material we look into is intense. Uh, Oedipus Rex uh, is a Greek play. It's now thousands of years old and the material it deals with is very, uh, is very, heavy. Uh, there is the king who is uh, challenged by the, the priest in his kingdom, uh, and he's challenged on political and moral levels. So that's some heavy stuff. So you should definitely be in high school before you, before you take this class. 
uh, and possibly a junior or a senior. But with the level of Colby students are at, freshmen and sophomore are also welcome, but you have to be ready to work and you have to be ready to deal with these questions of, of what does it mean to, to be king and how can you lead, uh, how can you lead your people um, in a moral way? Uh, yeah, so, so I would definitely recommend high school and above. There are gonna be two sections of this class. So the first semester, we're gonna be dealing with these eight plays from the Greeks right up to John Paul II. And then the second semester, we're gonna be dealing with Shakespeare plays. So we're gonna be looking at some of Shakespeare's most excellent plays. He's got a huge canon, but uh, we'll, we'll be looking at the specific ones that marked a change in production uh, in London at his time. And the interesting part about the second semester, uh, for those of you who are signed up for it, we'll be doing a lot of text analysis. And we're gonna be looking at, uh, we're gonna be looking at who controls uh, play production. I'm sure all of you are familiar with Shakespeare productions that you don't like very much that are uh, that kind of take Shakespeare wor Shakespeare's words and maybe impose the meaning on them that you don't agree with or you you think is uh, inappropriate or not suitable to what Shakespeare would have thought. And we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be looking at who controls the play, right? Is it the author? that controls the play? Is it the director? Is it the actors that are involved? Uh, who controls the text? And how can you, uh, how can you do service to the text? Uh, so that'll be, that'll be our focus in the second semester after, after we've built on the first one. Any other questions? Someone was asking me before whether or not this would be a heavy reading class. We, for the first semester, we have eight plays. So we're gonna be reading about a play every other week to every week. So it is, uh, it is, there's a lot of reading, but also this class meets once a week. The plays we picked are phenomenal. You'll rush right through them. It's like reading a really good novel uh, for the first time. You'll be able to see these plays. And once you get the hang of reading a play, you'll be, uh, you'll be absolutely thrilled. So although it, it does seem like a lot of reading on the outset, once you get into it, you'll just be, uh, I, at least I would be a completely, completely sucked in, completely awed by the mastery of the, of the text that these playwrights have. Uh, the other thing we're gonna be looking at, I've mentioned uh, text analysis and reading. Uh, oh, that's good. <laughs> so we've got a couple of people that love reading. I've mentioned this a couple of times. Um, the beauty of Colby offering this, uh, this drama course is that uh, the dramatic arts in a way like no other relate the actual speaking of words to creation. So we all know the first line of, of Genesis where God spoke and it was made, right? There's a creation through the spoken word. And that's what we're gonna be looking at in these plays, right? How do we, as actors, as producers, as directors, how do we mirror Christ's creation through the spoken word? And that's just, that's a, uh, that's a fantastic, uh, experience. Uh, as, as you guys are in high school, you guys have been reading uh, in liter literature, you've been reading these great books, but with, with drama, we're actually able to speak the wor words aloud in space. And we're able to create for ourselves these mini worlds, these scenarios, these situations. Uh, we are able to create ourselves through the spoken word. Uh, and that's, that's pretty powerful and that's awesome. But we have to do it well, right? This class is all about how do we do this well? How do we honor the text? How do we honor this uh, duty that we've been, we've been passed down? Uh, so once you take this class, hopefully you're going to be able to see how you can grow in speaking these words and how you can, uh, how can you, do, you can do service to this art form, which is really a powerful art form and, uh, and a beautiful one. Uh, there's a beautiful, we're also going to be looking at words from uh, the popes. The last three popes have writ written really uh, powerful encyclicals on the role of artists today. Among these uh, are, uh, you'll see it, those of you who have already enrolled will see it in your welcome letter uh, today, but there's, there's words from Pope Emeritus Benedict who says, 
that artists are the custodians of beauty and we are the heralds and witnesses of hope for humanity. And my hope is that throughout this play, the, throughout this course, we will be able to learn how to herald and we'll be able to learn how to herald well through this art form uh, and kind of inherit this role as artists in the world and be able to go out and spread that word uh, to others. So <laughs> that's a lot of heavy stuff. We'll also have a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun producing our own uh, skits. We're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be doing some partnering uh, for some fun dialogues throughout the scenes, and we'll be able to take you uh, from the base level. Right, if you've never read a play before, if you've never even seen a play before, we'll be able to take you from that level to reading on a very high level and producing on a very high level. <laughs> do parents get to watch the class skits? It depends. So I, I do respect uh, the high school students uh, sometimes are, are camera shy. They, they, they do not, uh, they don't like being on camera. We're going to try to break that. Uh, we're going to try to break that fear down. We're going to try to get you guys on camera doing skits. But as uh, ultimately you students have ownership of your skits, you have ownerships of your monologues, and it's yours to share with the parents as you will. Although if you do get one of your parents or one of your siblings to hold the camera for you, it's the quality of your video, I tell you, will go up. So that's an answer to somebody's question of whether or not you get to watch the class skits. Uh, so we've got some people who are familiar with Sophocles. Wow, he's a dark, he's a dark uh, author. No, he, he has written some heavy stuff, but so beautiful. I can't wait to read out of his text with you guys. Uh, but we do have some familiarity with Sophocles. That's good. That makes me happy. Uh, so then we have another question. If my student is not a strong reader, will they still be able to take this course? Absolutely. The hardest thing about this course for everybody is going to be learning how to read a play and learning how to read a play well. And during our very first, during our, our first class, we're going to be going over how you can actually read a course, uh, read a play <laughs> and make sense of it because there's very little narration in Oedipus Rex, right? Like you're kind of thrown in and the king is speaking and the chorus is speaking and you're like, don't, need, don't really know where I am right now, but, uh, but we'll learn how to read them together. I've got really helpful study tools. And I was there when I was a freshman, I read a play for the first time and I was like, this does not make any sense. But uh, because I've had that experience, I'll be, able to, I'll be able to walk you through how to read a play and how to read a play well. So have no fear. Uh, we'll get there together. Uh, we've got some strong opinions here in the chat box. Someone says that Edgar Allan Poe is the best poet. Have to disagree with you there. I'm pretty sure it's Shakespeare, but we can talk about that in class. Uh, so the writing in this course is interesting. Uh, going back to the Greeks, Aristotle actually was the first one who really wrote about taking notes on plays and how to write about a play and how to do a play review. So we're actually gonna take it straight from Aristotle. Most of the writing I'm gonna have you do during your first semester is going to be an Aristotelian analysis. So we're gonna break it down very simply, just like the Greeks did. We're gonna give uh, the beginning, middle and end of the play. And basically throughout the semester, we'll be building these Aristotelian analyses together. So that'll be your main portion of writing, just learning how to write about a play and write about a play very well. So that'll be the, the main component of writing in this course, uh, just following in the steps of Aristotle. I wouldn't be afraid of the writing, but I would, I would caution you that, especially with the first two or three plays, you will spend time learning how to write, write about them because it's a, different, uh, it's, it's a different form than essay writing, right? You're writing very factual, uh, you're writing very factual statements about the play and you're learning how to read in between the lines and just, figure out what's going on in the play. Like if somebody in the play, somebody in Oedipus Rex is called uh, short, right? We're gonna be, you're gonna be writing a character description, like how would you cast this character? Well, you gotta make sure that you pick up on this line that says this guy is short and then you need to um, be cognizant of that while you're casting. So that'll be a lot of the writing. It's gonna be critical thinking basically. Are there art classes that go with this class? No, but there is, there is the most fantastic art course offered by Colby Academy Online. My uh, little brother actually took it. It changed, like, changed his life. He was fantastic at it. Uh, 
and if I do say so myself, and he just had an absolute blast. The art course is very intense, uh, but you should definitely check it out. Uh, that's also offered by Colby Online. So uh, yeah, other questions? Uh, there's a couple of questions about Rome, which is in my background here. Actually, so you can see the shimmer here on that distance. That's actually Anzio Beach right over there. That's where the Allies landed in World War II. Really interesting. Uh, Rome is uh, Rome is awesome to live, live in. Uh, it's uh, seeped in history, right? So right over here on this side, I've got Anzio Beach, which is World War II, right? Over on this side, I've got St. Peter's Square and uh, the Vatican and uh, the museums like the Borghese Gallery and the Vatican Museums. So uh, history is, is quite literally surrounding us here. The garden I'm currently standing in is uh, part of Cicero's old vineyard. And Cicero also wrote a little bit about drama, but he didn't like it too much. So we won't be looking at Cicero too much, but uh, it's interesting living in Rome. It's interesting being this close to the heart of Catholicism and, uh, and reading these words of, of uh, playwrights throughout the years. Uh, I live, I've lived in Rome just since January, actually. So this is about uh, month eight for me living here. It's a lot of fun. Uh, will I take you guys on field trips throughout Rome? So Rome is not known for the best Wi-Fi. So they won't be live field trips. But I will take you to the place uh, virtually I'll, and, and recorded. I'll take you to the place where Julius Caesar was actually assassinated. I'll take you to the place where Shakespeare says Julius Caesar was assassinated, which is a little bit more theatrical and a little bit more dramatic. Uh, Shakespeare sets it in, this, uh, in the Roman form proper, uh, where it actually happened in the, in the theater of Marcellus. So I'll take you to both of those places. Uh, in the second semester, I'm gonna be taking you <laughs> I'm going to be taking you up to where Romeo and Juliet had their fated love affair. I'll be taking you to where uh, Much to Do About Nothing takes place. Uh, I'll be taking you to where Comedy of Errors takes place. Uh, those remarkable places that Shakespeare might have visited during his lost years. Uh, I'll take you there and I'll show you uh, how the space we, the, the space that exists, right? This, this space in Italy, how that informs uh, his writing and how that informs his plays. <laughs> What's my favorite play and why? Uh, so my favorite play is going to be Marriage Proposal by Anton Chekhov. We'll read an Anton Chekhov play, a little bit more depressing, but uh, we'll read a play called Uncle Vanya. It's actually a comedy. And it's by Chekhov later this semester. So we'll be reading that together. But my favorite play is this little uh, farce he wrote, uh, which is called Marriage Proposal. And I like it because it makes me laugh every single time I read it. I can put it on, on our Schoology page. We have, a, we have a folder for extra plays if you wanted to read them and extra um, essays and stuff like that. I can upload Marriage Proposal if you guys want uh, in that folder and you can, you can read it and laugh at it as well. Anton Chekhov's the mastery of, of, a master of languages. He's a Russian playwright, and we're gonna be looking at what, we're gonna, with his play, we're basically gonna be looking at what does it mean to be a tragic, tragic comedy, right? How do you, how do you both have, uh, how do you use your words to, to twine uh, tragedy and comedy together in a way that's in, entertaining for the audience and uh, illuminating for the audience as well? Other questions? So how many of you in the audience right now, how many of you have already signed up to take uh, this class this fall? Interesting. Hmm. Awesome, cool, cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've got a comment here that says, I don't know, my mom signs me up for this stuff. Uh, I, as the Colby alum, I, I, I hear you, uh, but you should, you should check out that Schoology page, see if you, see if you're in, in this class. I highly recommend it. Uh, it'll make you read, uh, differently, and it'll also make you see your world differently. 
uh, as you learn how to uh, as you learn how to read these plays and interpret them as an actor. Uh, it was really illuminating for me, uh, and it uh, it brought me a lot closer to uh, the spoken word and uh, and to and to the Catholic faith. It's uh, it's incredible. Uh, it's incredible the experience reading a, a play well will give you. Other questions? Oh, well, some practical information. Uh, there's two parts to this class, right? So the first part's gonna be the eight plays from various authors throughout history. And you can sign up for that right now uh, with part of Colby Academy. The second part is gonna be strictly Shakespeare. We're gonna be writing sonnets together and working on production. Uh, and that'll be the second semester. So if you want, you can sign up for those separately and just sign up for the first one now just to see if it's for you and then you know commit your second semester as you wish. Uh, but uh, yeah, highly recommend uh, the other. Uh, also, if you if drama is not really your thing, but art, you really want an art course. The uh, the art courses offered by Colby right now are fantastic, and uh, you'll have uh, an incredible experience. Uh, with the with the art, the the stenciling and the 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 drawing course as well. We have a we have another question here. It says, if I have previously previously taken a drama course and didn't like it, why should I take this one? Uh, and my answer to that is, we are we at Holy Academy are are grounded in our Catholic faith. We see the world in a way nobody else sees the world. We see it through the eyes of Christ. We see it through the eyes of creation. And the reason this course will change your life forever is you're going to be able to see how you can participate, even if it's in the small, small way, you're going to be able to participate in creation yourself. And by the end of the first semester, you're going to have this portfolio of work that you yourself have created uh, and you yourself have created in the light of Catholicism and, and uh, that creation created work, right? That portfolio of work you can take with you to college, you can take with you to auditions, uh, you'll have it with you forever. So that's why this course is different from any other course offered at any other school and why this course is so important, I think for all high schoolers to take. Hope that answers your question. Any others? Questions, comments, concerns, Shakespearean quotes? Well, once you take this course, you will be able to do, uh, you will be able to just spout off different Shakespearean quotes uh, at random. Uh, we will be memorizing, there's gonna be, a, there's gonna be some sonnet memorization and some monologue. Rest, uh, recitation as well during this course. So you should have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> uh, my favorite Shakespeare play, uh, that's a good question. It's gotta be The Tempest, right? The Tempest is a fantastic play. It begins with a shipwreck. It has the uh, Prospero figure in it uh, and uh, it features Prospero and how he changes as he, get, he gives up everything in his life. Uh, throughout the play, oh, we do have some. We do have some Shakespeareans in the audience. They're they're sending me Shakespeare quotes right now. Uh, Henry V. I do acknowledge that is an excellent play. Twelfth Night is excellent, and we will be we will be reading it this semester. We've got a we've got an odd one. Cymbeline. Interesting, interesting. Not many people's favorites, but you know your Shakespeare. Well done. You really know your Shakespeare. You know another really good one uh, that's often overlooked? As You Like It is an excellent, excellent Shakespeare play. Macbeth, yes, Macbeth is an excellent Shakespeare play. Um, but we're not, uh, the interesting thing is I think most of us have only ever read Shakespeare plays because obviously Shakespeare is the best, but uh, but we will be we the I think what this course will do is it'll open your eyes to other plays as well. We're going to be reading Samuel Beckett uh, this semester. If you've never read Waiting for Godot, that play will change your life. That play is insanely awesome. 
uh, you will, after you read, you won't be able to stop reading it. And then after you're reading it, you read it, you'll look up and you'll be like, wow, that was insane. Uh, and then obviously the jeweler shop by JP2, that play will change your life. It's, it's so beautiful, so beautifully written and so beautifully done. Uh, we're going to be reading, <laughs> we're going to be reading this excellent uh, British comedy called uh, Arms and the Man. Arms of the Man by George Bernard Shaw is just the most delightful comedy you'll ever read. And that one does have stage directions and they are delightful to read. Oh, we've got, uh, we've got some experience with Midsummer Night's Dream as well. Very cool. Midsummer Night's Dream is excellent. I love the mechanicals in that one. <laughs> that's, that's perhaps the funnest character to play. But like, that's a great character. Once uh, you sign up for the class, uh, the first assignment, you're gonna see it in the welcome letter today and on the Schoology page, you're gonna have to introduce yourself in part as part of the discussion board on Schoology. The discussion board you wanna look for is the no drama dramatist. And uh, you should tell us, introduce yourself and tell us about your, your uh, history of pr production, right? What plays you've been in, what plays you really want to be in, uh, how, why, why you're taking this drama course. So go ahead and introduce yourself as soon as you get on that Schoology page. It's so interesting to hear these different actors and artists. It's so interesting to hear how you discovered this art and, uh, and why you continued with it. Because it is, it is, a, it is a difficult art to, uh, to master. Absolutely, absolutely. Any other questions? Who likes Dante? I think everybody likes Dante, don't we? But I, I think Dante, although poet, was not was not a performer of uh, the dramatic arts. So we won't be reading any Dante, but you get to read him. I think with with uh, the third with junior year of Colby. You can register. So how should one register for this course? You can register online. Uh, registration is still open. Uh, and uh, you, if you have any more questions about registration, like that you need a specific link, et cetera, you can contact us directly. Uh, you can contact, uh, if you're on this Zoom call, you can private message me or uh, private message the uh, persona known as Colby Academy. And if you're on Facebook, just drop us a note and we can, we can help you register. Hmm. I can tell you a little bit more. So the garden right here uh, is actually part of the University of Dallas's uh, Rome campus program. Uh, the, it's a vineyard where uh, St. Peter and Paul actually met on their way to Rome. So that's where I'm standing right now. We're on an old road called the Via Appia. Yeah, so I'm an alumna of both Colby Academy and uh, the University of Dallas, which is an excellent, uh, is an excellent campus school down in Texas. Any more questions about the class? Hey, we've got another Texas native. Wonderful. <laughs> I love my time in Texas. Almost as good as my time here in Rome. Uh, I, I'm not originally from, from Texas. No, I'm, I'm from Connecticut. I'm from the Northeast, but I went to school in Texas. Oh my gosh, college station's running around the corner from them. Tell your friend to check out the University of Dallas. This is not a promo video, but I feel like we should do a flag that says not sponsored by the University of Dallas. Uh, this, is, this is for Colby Academy. But uh, yes, my time in Texas was absolutely lovely and I do love the University of Dallas very deeply. I have questions about the Colby Academy course. 
Oh, uh, this, that's a good question. So the other, uh, so part of this course will also be learning how to fill out resumes and applications for drama programs and for drama internships. So somebody was asking about how do you even begin a career as an actor? We're gonna be going over that in class. I'll help you put together a headshot and a resume uh, so you can start submitting it for jobs around where you live and around <laughs> and across America, in fact. Uh, so you can start uh, really busy building your resume both in this course uh, with Colby and then outside of this course as well. And I, when I was in high school, I was in high school when I started uh, interning with, with theaters around me. So uh, that's, that's kind of where, where you start. You start in high school, you intern with theaters, regional, et cetera. Uh, and, then, uh, and then you just keep on building your resume as you, as you go forward. Other questions? All right. Well, again, if you have any other questions, uh, let me know. Uh, Clay has final question. We'll say it's from Clay. Clay asks, do you get to write your own plays? Yes. So Clay, we're going to spend one class period strictly on writing plays. We're going to be writing them in the Aristotelian style, and then we're going to have a little play workshop uh, with plays that you possibly have already written or plays that you're going to write with this class. Uh, and we're going to read them aloud and see, you know, what works on stage, what doesn't, how to write dialogue, stuff like that. So uh, if you're interested in playwriting as well, uh, reading the plays that are in the course will help you astronomically because you'll be able to read some of like really genius playwrights and just you know start using their ideas. And then, uh, and then you'll be able to write your own and start creating your own as well. That's a great uh, question to end on though because uh, playwriting is, is very near and dear to the text. So thank you, Clay. Uh, and let's end with a prayer, shall we? Uh, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you guys so much for coming today. Uh, if you want to register for the class, go online. Uh, <laughs> Yes, I do know the Davers. But uh, feel free to contact us and sign up for the class. I do know the Daverns. Uh, Trisha Davern is one of my very good friends. Thank you guys. See you soon. <laughs>